one of the funny insights that I had that I don't try to make sense of, that I in fact don't believe, but I thought it, and it, it was an emotionally opening thought, though it's absurd on the face of it, was when I was in the Amazon in these pastures, looking at these pastures full of these mushrooms, I kept thinking, you know, it's the lost part of the human brain. It's the part, it's that part of us is in these four, in these fields. That this, this mushroom, this, this is human flesh, this flesh. It's a strange kind of human, but hell, we're about to give legal rights to fetuses. We might as well extend legal rights to mushrooms and make them voting citizens. Uh, <laughs> because you see, it's intelligent. It's intelligent. It loves you, it can blow your mind, it can make you laugh, it can make you cry. Uh, there's no other way to relate to something like that except to love it in spite of yourself. I mean, you know, this is how you seduce someone. You make them laugh, you make them cry, you move them, you get them to drop their barriers, you get them to not be afraid. This is what it does to us. It's, it's, it seduces us back in to this relationship, and I think we return to it with an immense sense of relief. It's just like, ah, 